In this example, we're going to use superposition to solve for the voltage across this branch of our circuit. And we're going to accomplish this by also using source transformations to simplify the circuit so that we don't have to perform nodal and mesh analysis. Um, so the idea of superposition basically says that we can find the voltage across this uh, across this resistor by removing one removing all but one source and then calculating the contribution of that source to the voltage and then systematically going through and performing that same operation looking at a single source's contribution to the voltage at a specific point in the circuit um, in this case a voltage we could also do this with currents um, okay so the first thing we want to do uh, is draw this circuit with one of the sources removed okay so what I've done here is I've removed the voltage source when you remove a voltage source you replace it with a short circuit so you just draw a line right through and connect it and that's what I've done here Okay, and I just moved the 2k down so that it looks um, the circuit looks familiar to us and now we're going to use the idea of uh, source transformations to simplify the circuit. Uh, source transformations tell us that for a linear circuit like this, uh, we can, if we have a voltage source in series with a resistor, that we can exchange it for a current source in parallel with the same resistive value. Okay, uh, and so V and I then are related uh, in a linear fashion and R is the same in both of these equivalent circuits. So you want to be on the lookout for places where you can do that in uh, in this pro in these problems and this is setting us up for being able to look at Thevenin and, and Norton equivalents um, which we'll get to in another video. Okay so I'm looking at this circuit here and I see that I have a current source in parallel with a resistor and if I, I could reduce this if I turned it into a voltage source in series with a resistor because then this uh, resistor would be in series with that resistor and then I could combine them and then I'm looking ahead another step so if you imagine the circuit looking like that then you have a voltage source in series with a resistor and then you have two resistors in parallel so if I then transform that back into a current source then I'll have a, a system with a current that's known and three resistors in parallel and that will be extremely simple to solve let's take a look at how that works so the first thing I'll do is I'll exchange this for a voltage source and the voltage source is going to be I times R, so it's going to be 12 volts. And the resistor value is the same, but it comes up and, and it's in series. Okay, so it's a 1K and a 2K. And then this is still 2K. just like that. And now as I mentioned earlier if we just convert this back if we combine these two into a single resistor and then convert this back to a voltage source we will end up with uh, three resistors in parallel and a, and a known current which we can then uh, solve using current division. Okay so this is 3k divided by 12 will give us a 4 milliamp current source. And notice as well that when I do source transformations, you follow the convention uh, of the uh, of the circuit that you're transforming from. So this is pointing up, and so when I create my current, my voltage source, I want to make sure that the current will flow in the same direction. 
Okay, so when I reduce this um, into a ser into resistors in series, I'm going to kind of jump ahead a step and just combine two of those resistors in parallel. This becomes 1.2. This is still our 2k. This is 1.2k, and that's our our voltage source in question right here. Okay, and then we can use current division to solve this. Okay, this is our our current that we want to know. And uh, at this point, you have to memorize current division and voltage division because you're going to be using them uh, for source transformations, for superposition, and for Thevenin and Norton uh, constantly. Okay, so this is the current that we don't care about, the branch that we don't care about, divided by the sum of the resistors in parallel. times the current, the source current. Oops, this is 4 milliamps times 4 milliamps. And when you solve that, uh, you will end up getting 1.5 milliamps. And then you can uh, use uh, the known resistance to find that the voltage, and this is V naught prime, is equal to 3 volts. So that's one of our, that's the contribution of one of our sources. Now let's look at the contribution of the other source. And so what I'm going to do is now remove the current source. Remember that we replace a current source with a, an open circuit. Okay, and so now I want to try and get that same reduction. Well, these two can combine and they are in fact in parallel with this 2k resistor and so then what I want to do is do a source transformation here because then I can make this resistor in parallel as well and then it'll be simply another current division problem okay so let's take a look at that going to look like this. What's my source transformation going to be? Well, it's going to be 12 divided by 2, so this is going to be 6 milliamps. It's going to follow the sign convention of the original uh, source, and then this will become my 2k. This is 2k, and that's the voltage that I care about. And this one is 3k. Okay, and I'm going to skip ahead uh, a step here. Combine. I'm going to combine these two resistors in parallel, and then I'm going to use current division. Okay, to solve for I naught again. And so I naught is going to equal. Uh, this is going to be six over five, right? over 2 plus 6 over 5 times 6, 6 milliamps. Okay, and when you calculate that out, you'll find that this is 9 fourths of a milliamp. And when you plug in your voltage, you'll find that the voltage equals 9 halves of a volt. Okay, and so finally, now we bring the idea of superposition uh, together and we find that V0 is equal to V prime plus V double prime and that equals 7.5 volts. Okay, So that's how you solve those kinds of problems. Lots of drawing but very little math involved. Okay, Good luck.